All right, welcome back, guys. I'm Magus. Again, I'm joined with Ultra David. Welcome to final round 19 uh, premiere event. So that means the winner will get a free ride to the uh, Capcom Cup. As well as a pretty hefty pot bonus. Yep. And since there are a thousand people playing in the tournament itself, the pot itself, it's going to be pretty big. Yeah, it's so going to be there's, there's pretty a solid paycheck at the end yep. of this. And, and on top of that, it's the first oh, premiere funny. event for Street Fighter V, which means not only the money, not only the placement in Capcom, uh, in Capcom Cup, but also establishing yourself. Yes, as, the points you get. You know, well, yeah, but on top of that, just the respect that you'll earn oh, right. from, from okay. having started out okay. as the first person <laughs> to win or do well in yeah. Street Fighter V premiere there events. There you go. I completely agree with that, too. All right, I thought well, you were talking about the point system, but nah, yeah. Right, right, right. Gotcha. It, it's cool. Okay. Sonic Box on the left, on the right, KRHS Tantan. -tan. Yeah, so this was not winner's finals, no. right? It is close, but it's not. Yeah, next apparently next match in this pool will be winner's finals. Not sure if we'll have it on stream, though. Okay, so off to a quick health lead right there. Sonic Fox Fang, but you could see how quickly, like, all that work he's done, right? And, like, one knee from Bison evens it out. <laughs> so it's, it's the difference in how they do damage and how on point you have to be when playing Fang to kind of keep them out and keep your your poison ticking, basically. Wow, that stun went up out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Boom. Uh, I mean, if, if Fang gets two good series, he can really add up the stun. It's just that it's not common that he gets that. Right. It's cool, though, when you start to get all this stuff working with Fang, because you have, like, the gray health getting, you know, knocked down, you have chip damage, you have the stun, and then you have the dot damage from the poison, so it's like this whole, you and know... And when, when poison is up, white life does not go down. When the opponent is poisoned, they will not lose white life. Wait, what? Yeah, you watch watch next time uh, he gets a poison going. So the white life stays there? The white life stays there during poison. Gotcha, okay. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's a really important part of the mechanic. Ooh, nice hit right there. It doesn't convert, though. All right, so looks like uh, Tan Tan had a pretty good start here. Sonic Fox trying to reverse that, gets into V-Trigger, which is that constant poison cloud around him. As you see, you can't knock him out of it either. You're always going to be poisoned if you're close to him. Yeah, he got poisoned just right away almost. Right. And that poison really has done good work in this round. You know, that poison has added up. Ooh. Ooh. Say what? It does add up. You know, I played a really slow round versus Fang once just because I was curious and I threw as like I did as little damage as I could, you know, and tried to like almost run it to okay. 99 seconds from the clock and it did 30% of my health of just kind of yeah. random poison. It'll so, add up. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice punish. punish. That wow. was good. Ooh, got the crush counter on the first hit. Second did not connect. Good anti air right there by Sonic Fox. Tries to go in, but nothing. All right, Bison player. Time for him to work. Couple knees. Sonic Fox just blocking in those situations so far. There's that trade we're going to see a lot. Kind of a sweep for the uh, poison. Okay, super. Big damage. And in the meantime, that poison is still taking off a little bit of life at a time. Will he fix it up? Oh, Ooh. he did the other one. That was so sick. That so, was tricky. So the medium one goes away faster than the roundhouse one. And the roundhouse one is the one that you typically use to set up those side-to-side -side mix-ups. Right, right. Uh, but the medium one will go away faster. That, that was great. That was pretty tricky. So you're kind of sitting there waiting for it to be a meaty, and then it just dissipated and yeah. you got scooped out of it. Yep. <laughs> Cute. You know, I'm a bigger, like, that was a great setup, but uh, I find, like, the most annoying setups for Fangs is when they put that poison cloud in front of you, you know, like, right in front of your face in the corner, and you kind of just have to sit there and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good connects right there. Oh, he does that back, back roll with Fang, and it looks really weird, but I think it's a typical back roll. I don't think there's anything really different about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh, goes for the anti air, doesn't pay out, gets hit. Punish? Nope. Could have been better. Yeah, could have done a little better. Just that meaty poison, walks forward. He's pressed jab or short very consistently after blocking those uh, scissors. You know, they're, they're safe. Well, the medium roundhouse ones are, but uh, he doesn't have advantage anymore. No. Yeah, see, that's what that is the bison yeah. player was looking to block exactly. at the end of the first game. Yeah, that's a really good setup. Well, it only works if the opponent doesn't quick rise, so it's not fantastic. But, <laughs> but people are not familiar enough with Fang to know that yet. Well, I thought you could do it after a Couch Fierce anti air, can't you? Yes, you can do it after Couch Fierce anti -air. Right, yeah. So on knockdown, though, like typical knockdowns, you yep. won't be able to get it unless you get a... and somebody's slow rolling you. All right. Nice. Wow, using that Coward Crouch just to keep going. Yeah, the attack out of it is advantage, so you can keep it up. Right. Pretty important for Fang players to know how to use that move. Oh, no. Punish. That stun just well, keeps creeping. 
Is he gonna use any of his resources? No, okay. Doesn't, wow. Oh man, he is just bullying right now. He can super for the finish. No, it doesn't even need to do it. That was a mauling. Wow. It seemed at the start that it was gonna be a close one in the first round or so, but Sonic Fox figured it out. He's already excited. He's yeah. like, yeah, man, I'm winning in Street Fighter. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> no, he made ninth place that winter, bro. Oh, yeah, man. He's here. He's already, he's he's already a good player. Yeah, he's already, you know, he's already a good player. He's been grinding it out, by the way. So. Look at that setup. Oh, man, that was pretty. Yeah, that that is cool. That was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> All the way into the corner. That, yeah, too many didn't Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, ooh, oh, my what God. What a jerk. I love it. That is too much. So that was really well done. Sonic Fox moves on. We've talked about how we like the character choice for him. Yeah, um, definitely. Absolutely. Keeps it up. So. I, I hope he keeps expanding on the character. Um, I, I don't know, you know, how interested or how long he stick, it plans to stick around for Street Fighter, but he's at a CPT event, so, you know, hopefully he's in it for the long haul. I hope so. Yeah, because yeah. it's looking cool. Yeah. Uh, All right, well, up next, next we're going to have uh, Siam versus RDU TKD Sean. Okay. Si Siam, a.k.a. Uh, Jury Kill's friend, JKF. Uh... A good cross second player. Okay, there you go. Thank you. I have no information on these guys. So. <laughs> good cross second player. That's the only one I got. The only bit. The few but the proud. Yeah. Oh. Um, he was good. Who did he play in cross second? Uh, man, I don't really remember now. <laughs> I feel like that game was forever ago. <laughs> what, what characters were in that game? <laughs> there were so many characters in that game. Uh, I loved that game, and yeah, I, I, did I you thought really? about. Well, I love 20, the 2012 okay. update or whatever it was. Yeah, the, update 20, was, the 2013 the update. The update was okay. Yeah. I really like the update. But yeah, I haven't played it in probably three years. So. Oh, I well. respect that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he's playing Rashid in this game. And Sean. Uh, did we see Sean? Yeah, I feel like we did. Yes. Playing Cammy. No, he played Rashid. Didn't he? Yeah. Yes. I believe that's true. So I think um, the other fellow is going to be playing Cammy. And oh, Cammy's boy. just been such a force in this tournament. No, no, no. I mean, that's... You know what? Let's just call him by the character names because I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not I'm sure not. who's which. Let me see if I can look at their hands right now. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just I'll talk in the meantime. Yeah, I think the... Um, I think they might be switched, but... I'm not 100% sure. Either way. All right. Well, whatever. Kimmy's um, just been such a, like I was saying, she's just been such a dominant force in this tournament. Um, you know, you've seen Kazunoko dominate with her. You've just seen so many other players who you may not have known doing well with her. So I think she's... She's a really good character. She's a great tournament character, too, because she's very linear, very, you know, uh, simple on how you approach her. So... Yeah, I think I think she has a stable sort of gameplay. Exactly. So, like some of the characters, like Rashid, for example, you know, if you don't let him get started, uh, it can be a rough one for him, but I feel like Cammy just has the tools to get started and to be solid once she is. Yeah, so you can get like a decent health lead with Cammy and kind of sit back and just play a really lame footsie game, and, and, and that's effective. Whereas like somebody like Rashid, you know, that's going to be harder to do. Although you can run away with Rashid pretty well, so. Ooh, big punish here? Ooh, no. Could have been. Wanted crush. Yeah, he took that step forward, though. Got a little greedy. Ooh. Wow, okay. Just do it. He's Rashid, he's crazy. Nice, I like that setup. That crouching fear is very good button from Rashid. That's true. But now Cammy has all the resources. Oh! Okay, yeah, not too tricky. Oh, this could be big. Big punish right here. Activate. Will he spend it at the end? He oh, does. super, okay. So, so the, V trigger left. Yeah, exactly. So there's actually going to be enough for another mix up on here. Mm -hmm. Use it for dive kick, maybe? Oh, oh. Just, yeah. No quick get up, it looks like. Pretty good call. Ooh, and the bomb. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's really good. That's tough. That, you know, when that tornado is like behind you or in front of you and coming at you, it is the worst feeling. And you just feel like no decision you can make will be right. When I'm playing against Rashid, I typically do what Siam just did, which is the block high. Because I know that the wind effect from the, the V tor from the V trigger, um, you know, it gives extra mobility to a lot of things. But none of them are lows. Like, he gets more mobility on overhead. That's or, true. So I just always stand up. But Crashing Short is what ended up sealing it. So good good work to, uh, I believe, Sean. Right. Yeah, that's kind of a thing also with like Cammy when she gets in, you think about it, like once once like a, a jab or a crouch or a stand stand medium punch or crouch medium punches land, you could actually just start walking straight back as opposed to not even blocking low. 
you know, like, if you want to test them and see if they could even hit confirm a crouching medium kick, sure, but mm. a lot of times you're moving out of the throw range, you're you're avoiding kind of the, the other hits, so, I don't know, somebody, somebody once told me that, like, when you're in those situations, just walk back, don't, don't, like, crouch block and sit there and try to hit buttons. Well, that was a pretty dominating round right there. Yeah, that was Sean. a really quick yeah, one. That was, yeah, that was fast. It was a lot of control. All right, here we go. Cami uh, getting finally some some play. Goes for a neutral jump medium kick right there. Some some cautious play, but maybe overly cautious out of uh, Siam's Cami. You know, he's really let Rashid run in a lot, and I feel like that's... Like, I feel like Cammy can put a stop to that stuff. I feel like her buttons can do it, her mobility can do it, but he seems to be mistiming that. He seems to be mistiming his dive kick. Good super right there after the V trigger. It's gonna do a lot of damage. But it looks like Sam's like mistiming his dive kicks or something, because he keeps getting like whiff air normals. Fishing around with down pierce, probably V yeah, well, there's the V cancel. Mm, again, it's going the wrong uh the wrong angle really. Ooh! Any hit! Super. Super. Why not? Gotta seal it, yeah. You gotta do it, you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, the meter is there to help you seal uh, right. the rounds. That's the point. And you, again, we mentioned this, but you build super fast enough in this game that I don't feel like uh, saving it is as important as it might have been in Street Fighter 4 or other games. Yeah, I think there's a time and place to save it, you know? Like, sometimes you want to take that risk to, to kill them and keep it for the next round. But then, you know, if you're in a dire situation like this, 1-0, he's on a uh, match set point. Like, you have to, you just have to burn it. You, there's really no other choice. Again, I, he's think, I think you're right, yeah. Like, he's, he's messing up the dive base. Right, and this could be, that could be anything. You play on a different system, a different kind of stick, like who knows, like all kinds of timings could be messed up, you know, maybe he's nervous, who knows, but yeah. it's just unfortunate when you see like three or four or five of those happening, you kind of wonder, you know, what's going on. So that's, well, no more V-Trigger. Neither of them, yeah, it's going to be a pretty honest match from here on. Ooh, I like that. Okay, a lot of advantage there. There nice it is. Setup. Yep, that neutral jump fierce that he have is so good. A lot of characters have these great oh, neutral jump would. buttons, to s and they just work so well against baiting throws and, and kind of people who are still accustomed to crouch attacking and yeah. just hitting buttons on the inside. So you're going to see a lot of that. Right, here he is. All right, well, Sean moves on. Yeah, this is a big one. This is winner's finals of their pool. It's PG, Filipino champ, who you can see against BOTB EMP hero, Jaron Grayson. J. Ron Grayson. Out of New York. Best Bison. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Very solid Bison in Street Fighter 4, but he's been one of the best players in the U.S. across the host of games. The Alphas, the CBS2. Yep. He has a long history in fighting games. Yes. Super Turbo, very good. Right. Very well respected in the fighting game community. He's always been a great player. Yeah, and he has a really interesting sort of mindset when it comes to approaching games. I always like to talk with him because his opinions are often different than other people. He'll point something out as being stronger or weaker than many other people think it is. And he always has well-considered reasons for those things. But they're, you know, it, it is sort of a different take on how to play. Yeah, there's no set in stone way on how to play Street Fighter. You can approach it however you want. <laughs> I mean, the bottom line is, do you win or not? And yes. that's going to shape how you play. So, Jaron does a lot of that. Yep. That's one of the one of the interesting things about this game. You know, a lot of new players are like, what, what should I be doing as this character? And besides, like, a basic outline of what your character is capable of doing, how you actually approach that in a match is up to you. That's kind of your mm -hmm. way to express yourself, you know? Yeah. We've already so. seen a lot of people who have different styles with the same character. Right. Absolutely. So, Jaron, I don't know who he's playing in this game, but my guess is Bison and Chun, because that's what it almost always is. Yeah, I agree. Uh, like, going back to ST, it's, like, always been those two. So... That's probably what it is. I would expect Bison against Filipino champ Dalson because I feel mm -hmm. like Bison does Agreed. better than Chun Li in yep. that matchup. And but uh, again, we'll see. Like I said, he does have unique ideas. And Champ also plays this against a lot of Chuns, so he has that experience. Plays against Ricky's. Plays against Blind. Hey, hey, hey I'll put that in there. This guy, but um, he knows what to do versus Chun. But sometimes that can work against you. Sometimes that can work against you when you play versus you know one or two people who play a character and that's all your right. experience, you know. Yeah, do you know do you know how to play against that character or those people? Exactly. That character? exactly. Yeah, different things. All right, but so no, just Bison it is. Yep, this should be interesting. I and I again I like this choice. Bison's damage output is huge. Uh, the ability to dash through normals is yes, big. That is huge. Um, the ability to use the V skill against mid range oh, buttons boy. is really important. And his mobility is just really good. You know yeah, getting a handle on that devil's reverse uh, is even a big thing. 
yeah, I mean, it forces Sim to react somehow. And you can kind of navigate the moves, so oh, okay. it's going to be tough punish. Yep. Jaron, with that, with that stand jab, I feel like he already showed that he understands a little bit about how to play against Dawson. Awesome. <laughs> he stopped that Gale really quick. Yeah. I really like it, yeah. Right, Jaron has him cornered. Let's see how he works. Fierce. Those buttons, by the way, are tough to handle as well. He, in my view, he has some of the best jump normals. Jump Fierce and Jump Roundhouse, I think, are some of the best. Yeah, and Jump Medium Kick, which actually changes his tra tra trajectory a little bit. Enough to make it ambiguous when he goes for that cross-up. Nice by Champ right. That was almost like a hit confirmed teleport. Here we go with the, the dives. Nice. Wow. There, okay, there's a great solution to the, you know, sort of defense that Jaron has been putting up. The stand jab, the uh, the grab, they both lose to jump back medium. Yeah, Champ's really going to mix mix it all together. That's just his play style. He doesn't, you know, limit himself to one train of thought. He, he puts it all together with his characters. Keep this corner control can be tough, though, for Sim to deal with. Oh, oh it is? Love it. Okay. That was a really good slide. Bad time for uh, for Hyro to use that double reverse, but he still got the pressure on him. They left the corner, but it was still all Bison right there. All right, some Kales for chip damage. Jaron with the standing jab again to prevent any further mix-ups. That white life is still there. Yep. One more hit. It's going to do a chunk. There it, it is. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Crush counter, big damage. All right, Hyro's looking pretty good. Champ just sat there. This is a second V-Trigger, by the way. That's right. And Hyro hasn't even used one. Oh, man, that damage. Always, it always surprises me. All right, Hyro's in here. Mm -hmm. We just got ourselves a match. But Champ is sitting on full meter. Uh, that, that means a couple things. Yeah, he either gets a lot of EX fireballs or a huge damage super combo. So it looks like he's going to opt with the uh, EX fires. I'm really surprised to see that sweep like that. Yeah, that's very un jaron like Yeah. <laughs> Nice blocking, just playing defensively here. But the stun is really rising. Yes, uh, Sim can get stuns. It's not. Oh, no, it's legit. This yeah, it's, it's legit. It's very normal for him to stun. Mm -hmm. But good fighting right there from Jaron. Didn't want to waste the V reversal. He just was a man about it and fought his way out. Well, he made the right choice. V trigger's in there now. We And we haven't seen it yet. No, you know, that, that V trigger is so good for Bison. It's so good for Sim, too, because the teleports versus limbs are. It's just madness. Oh, that's going to be it. Ooh, hit a button on Wake Up. What happened there? Yeah, the, the dashing becomes much better. The stomp or oh, doubles reverse is really tough to deal with. It's uh, also one of those things damage where. Damage like, output nuts. Like, if you feel like you're getting outplayed, like, I'm not saying that's what's happening. I'm just saying in general. If you feel like you're getting outplayed by a Sim and you activate. Uh, Bison's V trigger, you could kind of just go ham and hope you get through a limb or land a stand roundhouse or something like that. And that's one of the few matches where that actually can pan out because the whip animation is so long for any of those normals. Well, I guess Jaron didn't like it, so Hero's going to go over to Chun Li. All right, this, you know, this might be tough. I don't know. We'll see. Well, in talking with F Champ a little bit ago, he, he hoped that. EMP hero would go with Chun-Li. Yeah, that was his hope. Yeah, definitely. You're going to see a lot of, yeah, I mean, he's standing fierce punch is going to go under Kikokens. He might opt to use that early just to say, hey, look, no back fierce, no Kikokin for you. Uh, he could also use the float over Kikokin. So there's a lot of mid-range options. There you go. <laughs> I just tried it. Yeah. And then there's the float. So you're going to see like, <laughs> you've played this match dude, before. Oh, uh, you don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's really rough though. Once, um, once he gets a momentum going and you don't have the meter to reversal any of his stuff, you could actually react to a lot of his teleport mi mix-ups with EX SPK, but when you don't have it, you just feel like you're getting mauled. Uh-huh. Ooh, that had to be That's an accident. That's not good, yeah. All right, so Duran, I would take this time to kind of just slowly get some info, some meter, activate maybe. Yeah, that position for the float has been super strong it's, so far. It's really good versus Chun-Li, too, because you think you could V-Skill it, right? But the V-Skill whiffs if he just holds back a little, so it's really tricky. It's, it's a good bait, and it just doesn't... There's that fierce punch right under it. Yep, sliding right underneath the V-Skill approach. Yeah. yeah, this is looking very strong for F-Champ right now. Yeah, he definitely knows this match. This is a match he did not want to be surprised by. And, you know, just how in the high regard that everybody holds to Chun, he yeah. really wanted to make sure he understood this matchup. Oh, that makes sense, and clearly he does. Yeah. And look at this moving forward. That was a gutsy fireball. Oh, yeah, that's that's a fireball of somebody who, you know, believes that they have full control. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. I agree right there. I really want to see uh, Hyro, though, get in and activate that V-Trigger and see what he could do, because that actually helps a lot in this match. You know, if he does get that, he can really turn things around. Yeah. But he just hasn't been able to get it. It also gives you that full-screen fireball, which is pretty handy in this fight. 
Ooh, nothing there. Oh, there it is. Got it. EX. Oh, oh, he mistimed it. I like that though from Champ just sat there. Both both players sat there respecting each other. Alright, just slow burning them right now. Walked into the flames. I don't like it. Yeah. And now Hero trying to fight in. Oh, well, he backed off. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow. It's like a reset. Oh, PK and Champ is ready for it, man. Champ is looking so solid today. He knew exactly what was coming. He did, yeah. He knows that match. Well, even though Hero didn't do, you know, he didn't win with Bison, but I really feel like it was closer than it was with Chun Li. Yeah, and who knows how much experience like you know Jaron actually has. So I think you know he could go back saying, "All right, if I ever run into that again, I'll I'll probably stick to Bison." You know, I think I might want to. Yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah, everybody's still figuring things out. Yeah, that that's the the biggest point to take away from this is what you learn. Because I mean, how many people get like good sim practice, right? Like if you're if you're out there in you know non NorCal, non New York City, what sims are you playing? You know, it's gonna be tough to find them. So you kind of just you know you, you take them where you can. That's right. And uh, the Capcom Pro Tour store, Amazon.com slash Capcom Pro Tour. Again, they're um, putting up these t-shirts. Uh, they are official, and the money that they generate does go back into the Pro Tour and help fund future events and endeavors. So if you want to support, that's a great way to do it. And, of course, all the subscriptions that come from the, the channel as well, Capcom Fighters, that all kind of gets back into the tour. All right, well, we're going to move on to the next match. This is EMPKDZ on the right. We've seen the Mika. Yep. It's looked good. I'm stoked. SR Red is his opponent. And he has Knuckle Dude down there to help him out. Okay, so maybe a, maybe a Florida buddy of his. Could be, could be. Nash. Nash versus Mika. I feel like this is what KDZ lost to not too long ago. It was an unusual Nash, but yeah, you're right. So let's see if he, he might be thinking pretty hard. Yeah, he might he might not like this. I do not like this when I play Mika either. Well, all right, he's going in for Mika. Yeah, there's some, I mean there's some weird things about this fight um, about his Sonic Boom too, which is kind of annoying. Is that normally all of the fireballs in the game you could use her medium punch Peach Bomb to get over them, but for some reason his Sonic Boom is like a little higher off the ground than normal fireballs, and you can't use it. Oh wow, just Mike Toss. Okay, he's, he's going to be maybe going for that V-Skill early. Well, he, I think that was on reaction to the Moonsault, but uh, it was just a whiff. Oh yeah, you're right. He may have been doing that. Yeah, I, th I think that's what he was looking for. Okay, so already very different style of Nash than we saw from boom. before. That neutral Mash Irish Whip. I love that. <laughs> Why not? It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, my God. And you, and you look at his uh, his V gauge as well. He's already, you know, one and a half there. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be rough. There it is. Oh, no down strong answer here. Yeah, down strong is really good in that situation. All right. I mean, you might not know which side he's going to end up on, but you Doesn't know. Doesn't matter. That, yeah, yeah, right. Does not matter. Just do it. But it is, there is a weird time. You gotta wait a second, then do down strong. But yeah, it's a catch all. And now red putting in work. Ooh, very dangerous <laughs> on both sides. Yeah, this is getting risky. No super. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, I'm surprised that that hit. I'm not sure what happened right there. Yeah. He no, he couldn't have ex because it, it might have came out, but. I think there's some moves in the game that if you EX and you get hit in the startup and it doesn't actually come out, you don't expend the EX, so... Alright, corner carry. Big time stun. He just went for the Gusto. KZ. Stand jab and here. Ooh, that Bazooka knee just kept her in check right there. A lot of fighting going on from Nash. A lot of approaches, yeah. Yep, that was good. That was good. He's gonna do a ton of damage. And we'll see what he tries to set up afterwards. Is he going to go in? Yeah, he does go in. Overhead, moonsault, cross up. Backs off, lets him work. Didn't see anything threatening. Oh! Not quite there. Just a few frames off. And again, you know, again, you might not know which side Nash is going to be on, but you can down strong if you can just anti air. Down yep. You can even hit fierce if you want to pick a direction and hit forward fierce. And like you either get standing fierce, which is nanny air, or forward fierce, which is nanny air. So I can see that. Yeah. But the safer one, obviously, is um, crouch strong, crouch medium punch. Right. So KDZ asked to go to character select. 
Uh, it, it, it seemed like he was thinking about a different character mm -hmm. before. But we'll see if that's what he ends up doing. I know KDZ is also a Soul Calibur player, so that is something uh, he was really into. I don't know if that was his first game. I want to say it was, but one of the first games that he played really seriously. I think was, you're right. Yeah, it was Soul Calibur, so he's really big into that game. He later won Evo in Injustice. That's right, yeah. I, wow, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, he's a really accomplished fighting game player, he, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And he, he has done well in SF4 over the years, too. Yeah, he has. He was a Rufus player. Yeah. Really he, good Rufus player. That's right. Round one. So he's gotten a Kami. Maybe a character who can more consistently get in. Yeah, I think it's a way better matchup. It's more fair. You don't have to work as hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all like that around here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nobody's trying to work hard. Nobody's <laughs> really trying to do that. <laughs> and he's sitting on V-Trigger, so now what he might do, instead of just spending it or fishing on a Crouch Fierce, is he may try to get him to throw a boom, activate, and then uh, drill through it. So we'll see. But Red may be smart enough to not even throw one. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't come up yet. Yep. Well, there's an EX. That one's pretty hard to react to. And, and pretty well spaced, too. Yep. Nice DP on the anti air right there. The Sonic guys seem to be doing work this tournament. People are throwing them out like they're safe. Oh, nice cross up. Yeah. First time he's used it like that. Yeah, this is a. Now his back is against the wall. Like, he has to make something happen. He didn't even get to use his V trigger right there. There again. No punish, nothing. Yeah, I'm not sure what she can do from that range. Yeah, you know, I don't know the exact frame data on it. I know it's not safe. We can find out for you guys, but uh, mm -hmm. and again, Red is still putting in. Wow, nice crouching medium punch right there on the dive kick. V trigger for KDZ. Let's see if he actually gets a chance to use it. Working on the throw game, might set up a counter hit to activate. Yes, he does. And the stun. No, he needs one more hit. He has a fuzzy guard jump light punch. Does he use it? No. Oh, again gets hit. Yeah. Just has not been able to solve that. And now a super on deck for Nash. This is very dangerous. Oh, that could be it. It. Yep. be it. It is. Good job by Red. Red's got a couple fans in the audience getting hyped for him. That's right. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. That's awesome. That was a good match, though. Yeah, so sites are minus 7 and 8 with three active frames. So they can be like minus 4 or 5. I think it's really just the range. The range was that, really that rough, it, yeah. Uh, and especially, to punish. like, what do you have that's like minus 7 or that's 7 at like far? You know? Yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's okay. pretty hard. And I don't know what, uh, like, Cami Drill, I doubt Cami Drill hit 7 frame that far away. So Probably not. Yeah. I know Mika can, though. So that's what was kind of annoying is that he wasn't doing that at all. But what can you do? And, you know, if you don't know the exact, this is where, like, the, the, the little parts of the game get figured out if you don't know the exact frame data, even though it's kind of, you know, annoying to figure out the frame data for everything if you're not into that. Uh, it is important. No, look, we're all, we're all figuring it out. I mean, that's why I have the Bible here. I'm right. looking it up right now. Because <laughs> I want to know. I don't have it all memorized, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's too early for that. So, yeah, that is the seven frame startup move. It is. The, the, the drill, I knew that. I just point blank, though. So that's why right. it needs to traverse the screen a little bit. Right. So I think it might end up being like eight or nine by the time it hits Nash, which is just not. If like, she has super, she can probably do that. Yeah, so it definitely could do super, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's part of the fun thing about uh, a new fighting game for me is just figuring out all those little interactions. Yeah, I, exactly. It always takes a while. It does, and, and it's fun it, because we're doing a lot of unsafe, crazy stuff in matches, you know, and being like, no way that could be real and whatnot. But <laughs> but I think that the actual fun for a lot of players starts when all these situations kind of get figured out and the game gets boiled down to its, like, purest state, you know, and yeah. then everything's pretty honest for the most part because you know what you can and can't do. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I enjoy both parts of it. I enjoyed same, it same. Th the, the first week when I was just mashing forward dash as Bison was pretty fun. That right. was cool. Can't really do that anymore. No. People are figuring it out. No, no. You but there's a lot of other cool <laughs> stuff, too, that I have figured out also in the yeah. meantime. Definitely. But I think as the game progresses, you, you yearn for more, and you want you, you want to know what actually works and yep. what doesn't. So that's why, why you get kind of mad you know, when you play people or when you yourself are relying on tactics that are not exactly sound. So we all kind of push each other as a community to get better. And, yeah, you know, that's how it goes. Right. Right. So the next match, you got some names for us over there, David. I uh, have KRH, KRHS Tan Tan uh, against. Oh man, we saw him earlier. This guy's Rugalitarian. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, that sounds right. It does. And he had a close one. He looked disappointed um, when he did lose. So he is back versus Tan Tan. That's all you. I, I'm happy to take that. 
You guys will find out shortly. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right, Rugalitarian, Tantan. This is, uh, I'm pretty interested to see this because I think Vega's a very good character, but I just don't see him played enough in the field. So I'm kind of curious to see how he approaches a, a good Bison player. Nice anti air right there. Goes flawless in this fight. Vega's normals are, they're going to be good. Bison has some great wall ish normals, though. So that may be an annoyance to Vega. I feel it's a fun match because I think both characters are really, really good at setting the pace. And, and so when they come up against another character who sets the pace, that's that's a lot of the battle. It's not just in the footsies and in the mix-ups. It's you know who controls whether we're in or not, who yeah. controls where we are. Right. And Vega, of course, Vega's walk speed is just so fast. He, he could really be wherever he wants. Ooh, that duff. Nice jab, jab. Spent right. that a couple of times so far. Yeah, that view reversal for Bison, you're going to see it a lot. It's very good, especially because it gives you that guaranteed meaty afterwards. So Vega getting back. Oh no! But why? Why would you things do were, that? Things were all right. Yeah. You had to go and get nutty. Yeah. You know, it's like we were having a good match. That was and like 98% good. Yeah. <laughs> and then 2% of it was like, what? We were having a good match, man. <laughs> oh, you cross song right there. There's that standing fierce, man. That, that button is working. Gets a throw, doesn't yeah, dash it, in, very smart. Vega's got a, an assortment of buttons. That's why I like him in this oh, yeah. game. It's just like every button he has is good. Stand light kick. There's a button that's really good too. Three yeah. frames, huge range on it. Nice yeah, a lot air throw. Of, he has a lot of buttons, a lot of damage, a lot of mobility. I think it's no surprise that some people think that he's you know, up there in the tiers. Yeah, just a little weird to play because it's not the Vega we all know and love, you know? People are still getting caught by... Doubles reverse there, as you can see, it's kind of wonky in V Trigger. It yeah. appears behind. Like, I see some people just backdash. I think that works. I don't know. I know you could try to air throw it if you read one of them. I'm, I'm not really sure if there's a catch all, though. A couple of bars spent, nice. and it worked. They go with the command grab. Why not? So, game one going to Rugalitarian. He looked good. Yeah, he looked solid. I mean, he played solid the whole, whole time, pick and choose where he wanted to take the mix-ups. Again, Vega's walk speed, he's really going to be able to kind of dictate uh, that mid-range game. Bison does have some answers, though. Yeah, I feel like Bison's dash can make that happen. The yep. Devil's Reverse can make that happen. The scissors are, are all ways that he can move around unconventionally, but, yep. but strong ways. And even the slide, although obviously it got him killed, but it is a tool. If you have V-Trigger, you can cancel it, and right, it's, it's right. advantage on block. Vegas, okay, the knockdown goes up. He does not quite get up. And you get on throws, there's only two chances. You only get a quick get up or uh, or none. You don't get that back roll. This is big damage. This is bison. Ooh. Just, oh, this is going to hurt. Set up. Setup. Yep. Okay, cute. Still in there as Rugalitarian now. Got that. Okay. Yeah, nice. He was clawless, so he did have that fear of a command grab right there. Got a counter hit on whatever he was doing. Just didn't finish the combo. I think Rugalitarian was just going in a little bit too hard there at the end. Just walking forward too much. Yeah, he's still walking forward right there and right. eating stuff. He's not fighting at his optimal range, really. He's just trying to get in. Well, he does like to play without claw. You know, so he doesn't have that very far forward fierce. Oh, this is going to be damaged. That's a yeah, big combo, and he's going to get the setup right here. Oh, Vega is just so scary in close now. He is. Yeah, he's good. Good defense from Rugalitarian. No straight hits hitting him right there. Just down back. Vega coming in for the approach. Wow! There oh, it well, is. He at least had the V cancel. And that EX. One of the nice additions to Bison's arsenal. That's safe. Just. Oh, sick! What happened? He right knocked there? him right out of the V trigger. Oh, okay. He just stronged him. I mean, not on reaction or anything. Right. It was just, it was just happening. Yeah. Good tech right here. Even on health. Nice. Oh, no. does not get the combo. Still walks up a throw. Yeah, you All have right. you have to see whether the opponent is standing. Yeah, that's not your bread and butter. That's that's a situational combo. Right. Your, your bread and butter is way more simple than that. Like you just have to kind of, you know, maybe two strongs or something into a combo, if you, especially if you get a counter hit. Now he's got the counter hit right there. Yeah, exactly like this. Right. right? That's that's exactly what I was, I was talking about. Good, good combo. Pretty smart from uh, Tantan right there. Reduce the stun, get the knockdown, but Vega back in it. That's such a good V reversal. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it, it hits above and behind him, but not very big range on any of them.
That's on, on, true. Any, on any of the angles. It, it is limited in the, in the horizontal range. Whoa. Some craziness. But I feel like Rugalitarian is pretty confident, even though he's in the corner right now. Yeah. He, he, it just seemed like he was able to turn even offense from his opponent into his own. Yeah, pretty pretty methodical play. Took it. Vega looking work. strong. I'm glad to see some Vegas. I know Flash was here earlier playing Vega, and he qualified. Ended yeah. up beating Tampa, somebody he plays with in Florida, which is kind of crappy that it ends up happening that way, but but it happens. It does. It does. All right, man. Up next is going to be Panda TV Jiwa from China. Yeah. All against right. the, the person sitting down right now, whose name is Master Bader. Okay, man. How about that? <laughs> Master Bader's up. I, I sometimes I wonder if, if these are these actual people names or if they just put these down there knowing that they might get you know like loudspeaker I called. Mean, I or, like it, you know. All right, all right. Getting a little handshake going on over there. I haven't seen Jiwa play SF5 yet. Of course, he was a really strong Street Fighter 4 player, and he did great at events around the world, uh, including in the U.S. With uh, did he play Ryu? Play Ken. Ken, that's right. Ken okay. Player. So I would imagine Ken, but we'll see. And I have no idea what Master Bader is going to do. Well, hopefully play Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully he'll <laughs> go in hard. <laughs> so actually, um, before these pools were finalized, didn't Jawa get stuck with somebody from his country? Did yeah, it was Dako and, and Jawa in the same pool for like a little bit. I mean, they, they fixed brutal. it. They fixed yeah, it. That would be the worst. It would suck. Yeah, it's teammate, one... training partner yeah. from the same country across the world. You fly here, you play against each other. No, it's, it's one thing if that happens and you're in the U.S. Like, that sucks, but yeah. it happens, right? Yeah. Like, we understand. It's just random. But yeah. if you're from, like, you know, not here yeah. and that happens, that, that just is terrible. Like, Ch you go yeah. to Evo and you end up fighting your boy. You're just right. like, really? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, China's pretty far away. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's all good. But I, I think they're still working on, on a stick. Um, actually, it looks like Master Bader uh, doesn't have a stick. He's just playing on pad. Okay. How about that? You expected him to have a stick? No comment. I, I d had no expectations. <laughs> I was just sitting here expecting a Street Fighter match. Okay, well, we might get one of those uh, coming up. <laughs> All right, I can't wait. Yeah, I I'm pretty interested to see what Dark Jo is going to play. Um, he, yeah, he was very strong. Um, okay, Vega. Or not. Or oh, there we go. Right, what see. we expected. Right, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I would be looking for. And it looks like Master Bader is going to be coming in with Rashid. Should be interesting. Two characters that are kind of like, uh, they have like a solid mid-range fireball game, but they're also really aggressive on the yeah. inside. Button Z characters. Yeah, I think, so. I think that's what they would rather do. It looks like they're going to be button checking. Yes. Okay. JY is just going to make sure his stick is working. We do have language barriers and, and right. tech barriers and all kinds of stuff, so he's just making sure everything works here. I mean, this is a real international event, man. It's crazy. Yeah. People from all over the globe coming to final round. The masturbator just waiting, holding his breath, seeing what comes next. You know? I think he's trying to... <laughs> this guy's like, I have no idea what he's saying. He's like, he, he's like, <laughs> yeah. restart it so we can play. <laughs> well, Jiwa's still working on it. See him on the right of your screen there. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, Maybe a part of him anyway. That was too funny. There he is. There he is. And the crowd behind him, as well as many other games that are being played at the time. All right, he looks like he's ready to go. That We're looks ready like to a go. thumbs up. Master Bader looks like he's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, Master Bader likes the thumbs up. Yep. He's ready, man. Okay, so yeah, he's going to play Ken, Ken versus Rashid. That looks like that's what the picks were going to be. Yeah, I think I think that's true. Although Jiwa's still deep in thought. He is. <laughs> Maybe he got some information after that because he's like, oh, you are going to play Rashid. Right. Panda TV, Jiwa from China. And Master Bader somewhere in the U.S. How many people from China did uh, end up making it to this tournament? 
Uh, I believe Shaohai and Dako. Dako and Jua. Oh, okay, yeah, so those three. three yeah. yeah, the most well-known probably right. from there. All right, that's always very interesting to me to see what somebody does after a low punch mixer when you're playing versus Rashid, and uh, Jawa did nothing, and he got mistimed on there. So okay, Masturbator made actually kind of bully him with those uh, mixers now. I have to say, I really like uh, Masturbator's play so far. It's been cautious, but at the same time, it's been pushing the opponent into the corner. Yep, and that yeah. is unsafe. But he, he hasn't really been overcommitting. He's just been, you know, moving more or less safely. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing, like, a lack of understanding from Jewa about Rashid, though. And if Masturbator does actually pick up on that, he can get some mileage out of the things he's doing. Nice confirm right there. Gets counter or gets B reversaled out of that. Both of them sitting on. Yeah, there we go. Just do Ooh, it. Did you get to the run super. Oh, he got it. That is, was, that, is that there? Nice. Nah, I don't know if that's dead, is it? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Yup. Okay. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a lot. <laughs> With the little kicks afterward. <gasps> you know why that was kind of impressive, too? Is because he actually went under him and on the other side, so he still managed to somehow do the super motion. Yeah, it all was that. good. Yeah, that was pretty good. I, I like his play so far. All right, just DPs out of there. See, this is what I'm saying. After low punch mixer, Jaywa is acting like he does not have the advantage. But Jaywa needs to hit buttons after that. Yeah, it really hasn't been challenging so much so far. You have to. There's, there's, you can't just let him do it on you over and over again. That EX dive kick. Ooh, all oh, the it's corner escape. Genius. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was right. good. <laughs> that was now good. He, now he's got the V trigger. The trigger's coming still coming. Oh, not anymore. That's bad news. Yep. Whoa, traded. What happened right I'm there? I'm surprised, yeah. Maybe it got the wind effect where it was like it floated a little. So you I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Either. Oh the block, this has gotta be big. Well, all right, okay. All right, he'll got take it. Good corner carry at least. Goes for the mix up, Jawa on top of it. Good defense from Jawa right here, just sitting back, waiting for an opportunity. Blocking it out. One came, but he didn't get too much. Oh, that might work! No, no, no button from Jawa. Whoa, made it safe, too. <laughs> so you can direct it, or is that just naturally what it does? Yeah, I don't know. Because it went back big time yeah, after yeah, that. For sure. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. Okay, Jawa with the tech. It's that raw standing fierce right in his face, going for that counter hit. Ooh, got a throw to come out. Jay well been DP him where he can. Wow, but wake up stands short from uh, Master Bader. You know, he's really willing to press buttons. Um, not, not a good range for that. No, but you know what? Jay well hasn't been punishing much, so I think he's probably going to test the waters with some unsafe stuff like that. You know, just, just throw things out and see what Jay was ready for. Yeah, so far it's been working out. He has yeah, a big life lead. Kick. Yeah, you Corner can... control. You could actually make that air eagle kick safe, which is, it looks really weird. But it's yeah, like, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it's like T-Hawk's dive, you right know, on when the you toes. hit it on the toes, yeah, and it just stops. Well, look at that. Master Bader takes one over Jiwa, at least the first game. First game, yeah. Hopefully Jiwa picks it up. Um, I mean, just from watching, he needs to uh, he needs to punish the, the V-Skill v follow-ups. He wasn't punishing that. Uh, he needs to hit buttons after low punch mixer. That is his turn after that. Right. So those are two things he could do that are going to be pretty big and changing the tides of the matchup for him. If Masturbator has EX, then there's like kind of a mix up between like, oh, should I expect uh, EX spinning mixer after blocking regular mixer? But if not, then what are you, you know, what are you worried about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even if you do expect the EX, like you could at least just backdash after it or something. You know, and there's there's other things you could do. Ooh, that neutral jump. But I, I really feel like Juo is trying to play a ranged Ken, and I don't know that that's the character, really. Yeah, very, very different from what we see somebody like Julio or, you know, right. Sanford or CD Manny play, where they just kind of get in your face, you know. Well, he has a big light lead, or maybe had. Yeah, that was some good damage right there. You know, some of those typical Ken buttons we usually see from players using that back, that back strong, that Ooh. standing medium kick, we're not seeing it. Good block right there on the overhead, though. I don't like that he blocked it and then used use V reversal on it though. Okay, Rashid finding a way in. Ooh, going to work. Ooh, patience. How did that throw not actually? That was so close. Both of them now effectively with super. Oh, not Whoa. anymore. Here we go. Going for the cross up. Cross up, yeah, yeah, but I like the counter by Joe there. Yeah, he was ready for it. It was almost like he went for it once, messed up, and then went to go try it again, and then actually got punished for it, so. 
Jewel was on top of it. There's that standing roundhouse. This is a good button from Ken. Just getting away. Yeah, there, there's there's been so much play from about half screen, maybe even farther from Jiwa. And when he gets closer, he's consistently backed off. Yeah, I mean, Ken has such great buttons on the inside. Ooh, got the counter hit on that one. Oh boy. No crush counter. That could have been throw. big. <laughs> that could have been huge. It could have been big. <laughs> All right, but he got the hit right there. Still has him cornered. Not doing anything either of these guys. Just an unsafe Hugo kick right there. It. So now V-Trigger and Super. JY is just like trying to beat him with fundamentals and he's like, I don't know what this character is doing. I'm just going to try to beat you. Like, I'm just going to try to beat you in Street Fighter. Ooh, oh, no. oh, yo, that, that would have been, been And that would have been the sickest thing ever. That would have been crazy if he landed Super off that. <laughs> oh, this has got to be the round. Not grab. Okay. okay. He makes yeah. it bigger. Nice. Masturbator going big. That was going actually, hard. That was actually really good. I probably would have just supered, but he knew his damage output really well, and he just went for that, killed him, and now he's still sitting on super. So here we go. This could be the set point for um, for Masturbator. Okay. EX out of there. Mm -hmm. Goes for the ambiguous cost up. Gets the tick grab. Dash up. Being sneaky Rashid right now. Ooh, Whoa. not what he wanted, I'm sure. Absolutely not what he wanted. But not just not really dealt with that well by Jiwa. Yeah, I mean, Jiwa's like backing off, but he's not really mounting an offense yet. Yeah, I feel like he's not actively making much happen. Okay, well, this is this is good for him. Maybe a chance to start things off. It's going to be big damage, too. So now Jaywa's playstyle is actually going to complement what's actually going on. So he could kind of stay back a little more. Oh, he, but the one time he went in, <laughs> he got there was EX, EX Mixer. Yeah. Wind effect, Ooh. oh, but just knocked down. Man, Jaywa is fighting. You know, this is like a fight. It's not like, you know, he's... he's punishing things correctly and, and doing this and anti-airing, like he's just fighting his way through that. Look at that expression on Jiwa's face. Head and hands temporarily as well. Yeah, I mean it's gotta be like it's gotta be rough when you're thrown into a tournament like this and you don't have hundred percent confidence versus certain characters. Now yeah. this goes for everybody here, you know, not just sure, Jiwa. Sure. But it, it's gotta be tough. And you're on a big screen and you're like, no, a Rashid, you know, like really, me? So it's gotta be tough. Well for his part, Master Beta rubbing his head there too. Yep, both have a round. This is the, the final final match in the set. Set in the match, I should say. Ooh, tricky. Okay, okay. The missed meaty. Missed meaties, man. They're, they're going to be all over the place. People yeah, are everybody's still, still figuring it out. People are still getting that timing down. DP, huge damage right there. So will he stay in? He has been going in more. Nice, especially oh. once v Trigger is going. Very tricky cross-up or not. Yeah, rarely do you see uh, Ken get a combo after the, the Hurricane Kick. That Hurricane Kick, once people find out about how good it actually is, jumping Hurricane Kick makes it so you like almost cannot normal anti-air him. It's really weird. I don't even want to say anything because of how annoying <laughs> it is. <laughs> all I know is the Ken I play back in the bay, like yeah. he, does, he does it to me all the time, and it's just the most annoying thing. I, I like this right now from uh, Masturbator, just controlling the corner. Doesn't feel the need to rush in overly hard. At, at a range where he can anti-air well. Okay, well, the one time on the mistake. But I love that, you know, 20 seconds of control. Yeah, 20 seconds of that mid-range kind of control. Nobody's committing. It's really good. Oh, boy. That's going to be huge damage. Backs up a little. Bad news for Jiwa. Oh, oh like maybe, maybe a lucky break. Maybe a lucky break. Keeps messing up that timing. Yes. It's going to be giant damage. And Jiwa is really a mix up away from doing this. Oh <laughs> my goodness. He wasn't even close. Right. He wasn't even close and he did it. You got to go with your heart. Ooh, he's like, I'm going to put this behind me now. This is it. This has been a slugfest. Yeah, for sure. Round, uh, last round for both. Yep. Oh, he punishes with the overhead. I like Jiwa that. Jiwa all the way here from China. He's like, I know that move is unsafe. I do not know how to punish this, so I'm just going to overhead you. <laughs> you do it to me. <laughs> nice okay. DP right there. And delayed as well. Right. Rashid player, Masturbator, slowly moving in. Ooh. All right. I think Jay was finding out that jumping's working out here. He hasn't been punished for any of these jumps. Oh, nope. oh yeah. I'm surprised that he would go for a V-Trigger like that. Right, a little antsy. Yeah, it might be. No punish there either. Yeah, minus six. Stand medium kick, really good by Rashid. There's a, there's, there's a bunch more challenging going on from Jiwa now. Yeah, definitely. More active, and it's working out. He has the life lead. 
Wow, the mash works. That was crazy. That was a mash for sure. That was definitely. <laughs> oh, here it is oh, though. Oh my god. And the turnaround, V trigger, v -trigger on back deck. dash, back dash. Oh no, he messed up somehow. Oh boy. That v trigger actually, now. That Super's there too. Oh, oh Masturbator got takes him. it. Man, Masturbator just rushed in, stabbed in, got it, and he's off the stage immediately. That was that was a pretty you know what? The handshake and immediately out of there. Yeah, he's out of there. He's like, I'm feeling myself. I'm gone. Yeah, how can you not feel yourself, <laughs> you know? You know what's crazy right there? So he threw him out of that, that run. He canceled into a uh, can cancel, cancel medium punch to his V trigger, but that is actually plus rings. Yet he threw him out of it. Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely a challenge, but that's something you have to do sometimes. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was just one of those situations. I mean, the amount of health they both had, what was going on, the previous match, like everything was a liability. You know, yeah. like standing there was weird, hitting buttons was weird, yeah, yeah, so yeah. nobody knew what was going on. Yes, yeah. oh, very good job. One of those things. Very All good right. work. So, um, Capcom Pro Tour .com, and uh, you can follow them at Street Fighter. Um, they also had the. Um, What's the other one? Capcom Fighters, I believe, is the other uh, tag they use for Twitter. Um, and their YouTube, uh, Street Fighter, and uh, Capcom Fighters as well. And then follow them on Facebook. Got it. Okay, well, I'm excited to see the next one coming up. This is going to be Mono from Puerto Rico. ESPR Mono. He's on the left there. Bison player in Street Fighter 4 and the same so far in SF5. And he's been doing a good job, as he did in that last game, of coming up with cool tech and cool ideas for how to use the character. He's also using Fang, okay. but I don't expect that to happen You're in talking tournament. about Momo? Mono. So, um, Mono, sorry. So he is one of those tech monsters? He is, he is. Okay, cool. And he also runs tournaments over there in Puerto Rico. Oh, awesome. He ran first attack as well as other stuff. So, uh, all around sort of FGC guy. Yeah, His opponent is going to be Drega Mesta. All right. So another Bison. Again, very popular character today. No reason not to be very good. Good very character. Solid. Yeah. And this is kind of how a um, how a character pool develops. You imagine you look at a tournament like this and you have a lot of Bisons. You have a lot of Nashes, right? Well, then you go home and you think to yourself, well, is that what I'm going to run into in my field to play? And it probably is going to be. So you think, OK, who am I going to play? Who does good versus those characters? You know, and then you kind of develop a thought process from there when you pick your character, and this is how things develop, and this is why the, the you know the opening year of, of fighting games is always so interesting because things are yeah. kind of just organically happening, and uh, people flock to char uh, to characters naturally, and then counter picks kind of develop from there, and then everything gets crazy, and then ten years of the game being out is yeah. who knows, you know, it's just the weirdest stuff you ever see. That's so, right. I love it, man. Some people were concerned when SF5 was going to be released that it wouldn't have sort of that long-term weirdness that right, ends up right. getting found in every game, but it's like every game. It's, it, it's, you can't it's in stop it. it. That's, can't that's stop, just how it is. You can't stop the tech monsters. That's man. right. You can't stop the tech monsters. They're going to find the weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, I love doing that personally. Oh, yeah. I know you do, too. Uh, you so, got it. Yeah, we've been doing it for, you know, 15 years. That's just <laughs> yep. that's in our blood. But, yeah. Uh, all right, Bison, another Rashid. All right, cool. It looks like they're going right into it. They're going to save that video clip because that Standing Strong was looking cool. All right, so Mono from Puerto Rico. Nice combo right there from Dragomesta. Nice cross-up. That one is so dirty. Oh! Mm, missed the, the Ford Strong and the Eagle kick yeah. right there. That's big damage, too. You hate dropping that. Punish. Yep. Well, okay. That works. I almost feel like he could have gotten a dash in punish, but... Nice. He got the strong to down toward Pierce to combo. That's yeah, it's so hard. Takes very, it takes very exact spacing. I don't know that it was intentional, but if so, he's awesome. Because I've seen that, and then you get a crowd strong afterwards. How do you do that? It just It's like the right spacing, man. That's wild. Like right spacing or right, sort of like meaty timing almost on the stand strong. Oh, right. So it kind of hits like, like out in the open meaty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Balrog standing jab in a super and an in ultra and SF4. Right. Gotcha. There's that wake up fierce. Ooh, jump medium. Okay. Punish? No. A little too far. Yeah, you can't you can space that Inferno, even though it is pretty unsafe. You could space it to, to annoy them enough that you're not going to get hit. It's a pretty methodical approach from Mono, but it's been working out. 
Yeah, no, he's doing good. He's walking forward, hitting buttons. You know, that's uh, that's Bison's like to do. Goes to that double EX for the cost of one. And the nice thing about that is, you, I mean, you double up the EX, the startup on the next one's a little longer, but it's like impossible to low profile it or anything. You just have to block it or, or beat it with like a priority move. Yeah, it's really good for sure. Oh, I think he wanted to get behind? It. I don't know. I don't know. Trigger's still up. Challenge? Oh, oh here oh, we go. She could do this. Ah. He was putting in work. That crouch jab stopped him, though. And Bison wins. We're seeing more Rashids than Chun Li's. I mean, that's when you know it's the first year of the game is out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to change. <laughs> yeah. I just got a sneaky feeling that that might happen. All right, early pressure from uh, Mono. Really doesn't want to start dealing with what she's got to offer. Why not? Just if you don't know a character very well, I would move forward, you know, because I don't want to sit back and kind of try to figure him out mid match. I would rather just go in there and start hitting him. Yeah, play your game. Yep. The mix up that yeah, I could have punished that, but he it, he hit it well enough that he wasn't sure. Oh, roundhouse not into anything else though. Kind of tough to combo at that spot. Does uh, Bison even get a combo if you get a crush counter, like, kind of anti-air? Yeah, you can do EX scissors or something like that. Oh, okay, right, yeah. And there again, stopping that approach after the tornado. That is not, I mean, it, you could do it, but it's not guaranteed that you could sneak in there behind a tornado. Wow! That was good! That, that was, was such a read! I feel like that's something that we would expect to see in, like, six months. I know! Like, that's, like, that a was... later mix-up, but that was awesome. That was actually amazing if that was reactions. He was just like sees that blink and was like, nope, bing. No, you don't. Jab short. Because I think about those things, you know, I'm like, eventually people are going to be doing crazy stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's going to get complicated. Yeah, it is going to get crazy. Ooh, gets out of there. Really nice movement. All right, backing up. Didn't like that fireball. Takes a punish for, for backing out, though. But it's pretty even on health right now. Forward strong. Looking for some counter hits. Good Annie air makes him eat that tornado on the way down. Okay, you just look at that. That's gonna happen every once in a while. A I don't think game. it's something you have to worry about too much. Nah, you can't let it get to you. Yeah. So now triggers on deck for both. Okay, no cancel. No it. It's gonna do this on block. Gets pretty good frame advantage. Didn't really capitalize off it. Bison's got a lot of resources though, so he can do a bunch of crazy stuff. Ooh, Ooh. crush counter. Whoa. That, Ooh, that was a scramble at the end. That was a scramble at the end, but the way that last part of the tornado hit looked like some combo video material. <laughs> it actually hit Bison like on his forehead. It was like the last active frame it could have possibly hit a character. So, one apiece. One apiece, here we go, we got a match. That's nice big. crush counter, yeah, that's okay, big so damage he, and pressure early on. You know, he went for scissors rather than for knockdown on flames. And it's really interesting to see how different Bison's approach that. Do you want the knockdown for flames? Do you want these, the opponent to be standing still with scissors? He has a lot of different op uh, options. Yeah. I mean, that, that kind of immediate pressure you have from a non-knockdown is always nice because it's like that that think quick pressure, yeah. you know, as opposed to that I got a setup pressure. Nice. Puts it right on him. Mm. Does not. Again, he goes for it. Yeah, but he went for the grab. He did, Expecting yeah. uh, V reversal, I suppose. That's kind of a cool setup. It's a big read, though. Oh. It is a big read, yeah. That could have been a lot. In fact, that could have been the round. Good block. Puts the pressure on him. There you go. He's not letting him get away with that mixer for free. Makes him punish big time. Match point. Yep. Good job by Mono. That jab eagle, eagle kick. All right, good defense so far. He's not using that DP. I know Mono's worried about that in the back of his head. You yeah, always yeah. are. For sure. Yeah, so you, you can see he's putting in a little bit of time after pressing buttons just in case. Yeah. Just I, in case of EX Mixer. Exactly. I noticed that too. And that's that's smart. That's what you should be doing. You know, you don't want to give up pressure. You just have to stagger your pressure. Yeah. So. All right. Make some block it. What's he got? Ooh, baited the throw, but didn't get anything after it. All right. Jump back. Ooh, nice stand jab. Uh, right yeah, there. that was good stuff. A little slap. Keep him honest. I don't know about that. Mm, yeah, that's in pretty ill-advised. In the corner now. Super for Bison. Yeah, if he gets a hit, it's going to be it. Okay. Both of them wasting EX when they're sitting on Super. Yeah, I don't really know that Mono needs to use EX Ball right now. He hit, 
I don't think he needs to go in, right? Yeah, he and that's, sat, that's the point of ball. He could have sat defensively with that super and been fine, but it's fine. There you okay, go. Okay, there you go. Against uh, EXs are just so powerful in this game. It's really understandable when players decide to just say, screw the super, I'm just going to go with EXs for the rest of this round. Like, they're just... The, the, the usability in them is, you know, it, this, you could do anything with them. Like, Bison's EXs uh, range from projectile to pressure to, you know, to get out of here moves. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we saw a lot of good matches there. But we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with more in just a bit.